Hello, in this tutorial, I'll show you guys how you can easily create your color lookup tables or your LUTs in Photoshop. So, LUTs are more like presets that are going to help you color grade faster with just a single click or a single adjustment in Photoshop. So, basically, there are more of presets or actions that help you to color grade your images faster in Photoshop. And if I told you I haven't hit the like button, I just request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push it to more people out there to learn about this very nice and beautiful technique for creating your own presets. Remember, sometimes you may have color graded your different images and you want that kind of color grading saved somewhere as a preset where you can easily single click and apply it to images maybe in future or in time to come or a given set of uh, shoots or portraits from a given session so before you can go ahead hoping i've hit the like button on this video you have to take into consideration that, is, that photoshop usually has its own embedded presets for example when you come right here to the adjustment layers and you click and you come to color lookup usually photoshop has pre-installed LUTs that are, you can use to uh, color grade your images. So let me just try maybe four colors. You can see what it applies to the image. And you can look for different presets that you can apply to your images. You can see how they affect the images. And you can always play around with the intensity of your LUTs. You can see by just adjusting the opacity you can just get a different look all the way so i want to show you how you can easily create your own presets that you can easily apply to your images later on in the future to do color grading faster with just a single click like i've just shown you right here so we're just going to do or make some adjustments to this image and we just try to mimic a given color grading so we're just going to come to the adjustment layers and we're going to try to color grade this image a little bit differently by applying different adjustments. So I'm just going to come to the black and white adjustment layer and just come and change the blend mode maybe to multiply. So the other thing you have to take into consideration as you're creating your LUT, you always have to take it to the very maximum because once you apply it to the image, you can easily come back and reduce on the effect by turning down the opacity of the light. So always make sure that you push it to the limits or to the maximum because you're going to be able to play around with those adjustments later on through the opacity option in Photoshop. So I've just applied a black and white adjustment layer, but I feel like this is too much. I'm just going to I take it down slightly. I think to around 60. I think this looks fine. And I'm going to come back to the adjustments. Then I could add a selective color adjustment layer. And I could just turn up the blacks just like that to around 5 to darken the shadows or the blacks. Then I could just come and also play around with the yellows or add that kind of bluish kind of feel. Or tint to my blacks or my shadows so you can see this looks fine just going to just do a little bit of that and I could come back to uh, the reds and I play around with the sliders under the red so under reds I could just play around with the yellows so I'm just going to desaturate the yellows in the in the red section for example you should know that the skin tones always have this kind of reds. So when you play around with the reds or yellows, you'll be targeting the skin tones of the image. Just going to close this. Then I'm going to come and create another adjustment layer. For example, let's just add a little bit of contrast to the image. So just come and intensify the contrast of the image. And I'm going to come and look for a different option which is the color balance 
and uh, under color balance i'm just going to add some little bit of greens to my highlights so i'm just going to come do, to the highlights and come to the option which says magenta and green so when you move the slider towards the left hand side you're adding magentas in the highlights and when you turn it towards the right hand side you are simply adding greens to the image so i'm just going to add just a slight or a little bit of green or greens into the image just like that and this is okay for our color grading so let's see the before and after for the color grading alternate before after before after you can see what we have just added or how we have just color graded this image with just a few sliders so we just want to come and we save this as a preset so that we just embed all these adjustments into just a single preset which is known as a LUT so LUT is a short form for color lookup tables so lookup tables is LUT so I'm just going to come and save this LUT and before you can save make sure that you don't group the adjustments because when you put your adjustments in a group that means that your your LUT is not going to be effective or it is not going to be working well for your images and it may be having issues getting saved to be applied to the photos so make sure that you don't group any adjustments right here and other thing you have to make sure that your background layer is locked so make sure that it has this kind of padlock icon then come right here to file and you come to export then under export you have the option which says color lookup tables so just come and click on it so right now you can add a description for your LUT if at all you wish to and you can add some copyright information for example for mine i prefer ronnie's photography and the quality you can set it but i usually leave it at medium then right here i prefer to leave it in cube because cube loads faster in photoshop and it works best and applies better and faster to most of the photos in photoshop so i prefer cube not 3d LUT. and after doing that just come and hit ok so we can name our LUT to maybe let's just choose maybe 2022 20, LUT and we can save our LUT maybe on our desktop just right there and simply hit save so this is going to take a few seconds and it is going to be saved as a LUT. So let me just group these adjustments and we just turn off the overall adjustments so that we can see if at all there is a difference between the LUT we just saved and these adjustments. So I'm just going to group them. So I could just drop this into the group and I could name this maybe color grade just like that. And you can see before and after i'm just going to turn this off and select the background layer then come to the adjustments and you come right here to color lookup so just come and click on the option which says load 3d LUT and just click right there and you can now double click right here and it's going to bring you this option and you look for where you saved your LUT and I'm just going to come to my desktop and simply select my LUT and hit open. So when I hit open you can see it has embedded everything in just one adjustment layer and you can see before and after and this is the same as the color grading that we had applied onto the overall image. So in order to adjust or make adjustments to your LUT because remember I told you you should apply everything to the very maximum. So you can simply come the opacity and reduce on the opacity of your light so that it is not too much. Uh, depending on your likes and preference. So I'm just going to leave this at 60. You can see the before after. Before after hope you can see and I just hope you love how you can 
create and save that's to save you so much time trying to color grade or get a particular look on different kinds of images so this is all for today's tutorial if at all you have loved it don't forget to hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe if at all you haven't subscribed this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and see you in yet more amazing tutorials and don't forget to keep practicing and keep creating